Hi, I'm Father Peter Vasco, President of the Franciscan Foundation for the Holy Land. And as we continue our visit of the Holy Sites of Chrysostom in the Holy Land, we find ourselves in the season of Lent. And so we've decided to do a prayerful journey along the Via Della Rosa. The Via Della Rosa is a route that Jesus carried his cross after being condemned by Pontius Pilate to be put to death on Golgotha. The actual beginning of the, of the Via Della Rosa begins at the Roman fortress called the Antonianum and ends at the Church of the Holy Sepulcher where Jesus was crucified and eventually rose from the dead. Every Friday for centuries, the Franciscan friars have been making the way of the cross, as well as millions of other pilgrims from around the world who have prayed and walked along this route. So let us make this sorrowful journey of Jesus along the Via Della Rosa. The first station, here Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Then Pilate released Barabbas to them, but he had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified. O Lord, you know that because of our human weakness, we cannot resist the serious dangers we are exposed to. So give us health of mind and body, so that with your help, we can overcome the temptations we suffer from because of our sins. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The second station, here Jesus carries the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. So the soldiers took charge of Jesus, carrying his own cross. He went out to the place of the skull, which in Aramaic is called Golgotha. Let us pray. O oh God, the strength of those who trust in you, mercifully hear our prayers, and because without you, our mortal weakness is incapable of anything, grant us the help of your grace, that in fulfilling your commandments, we may please you both in mind and body. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The third station, here Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And yet ours were the sufferings he bore, ours the sorrows he carried. Let us pray. O mighty and everlasting God, in Christ you have revealed your glory to all nations. God, the works of your mercy, that your church spread over the entire world, may with constant faith persevere in the confession of your name. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The fourth station, 
Here Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This child is destined to cause the fall and rising of many in Israel, and it is to be a sign that will be spoken against so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed. Let us pray. O God, in whose passion, according to the prophecy of Simeon, a sword of sorrow pierced through the soul of Mary, virgin and mother, mercifully grant that we, who call to mind with veneration her sorrows, may obtain the fruit of your passion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The fifth station. Here, the Cyrenian helps Jesus carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. As they led Jesus away, they see Simon from Cyrene, who was on his way in from the country, and put the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, when the world was growing cold, in order to inflame our hearts with the fire of your love, you renewed the sacred marks of your passion on the body of blessed Francis. Mercifully grant that, by his merits and prayers, we may always bear our cross and bring forth fruits worthy of penance. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The sixth station, here Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Lord, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Without beauty, without majesty, no looks to attract our eyes, a person despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and familiar with sufferings, a man to make people cover their faces. He was despised and we took no account of him. Let us pray. O oh God, to those who go astray, you display the light of your truth that they may return into the way of righteousness. Grant to all who profess themselves Christians will avoid the things which are contrary to that name and to follow those which are pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord, amen. seventh station, here Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Yet he was pierced through our faults, crushed for our sins. On him lies a punishment that brings us peace, and through his wounds we are healed. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you have shown your glory to all nations in Christ your Son. Guide the work of your church. Help it to persevere in faith. Proclaim your name and bring your salvation to people everywhere. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The eighth 
station, here Jesus meets the holy women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A large number of people followed him, including women who mourned and wailed for him. Jesus turned and said to them, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For if men do these things when the tree is green, what will happen when it is dry? Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, long ago you gave your promise to Abraham and his posterity. Listen to your church as we pray that the people you first made your own may arrive at the fullness of redemption. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The ninth station, here Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We had all gone astray like sheep, each taking his own way, and Yahweh burdened him with the sins of all of us. Let us pray. Bring to life, O Lord, the spirit of piety in your church and its vigor, so that we may generate worthy ministers of your altar and staunch promoters of your word. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The tenth station here Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They took his clothes, dividing them into four shares, one for each of them with the undergarment remaining. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you keep together those you have united. Look kindly on all who follow Jesus, your Son. We are all consecrated to you by our common baptism. Make us one in the fullness of faith and keep us one in the fellowship of love. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The 11th station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Then they offered him wine mixed with mirth, but he did not drink. And then they crucified him. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you appointed your only begotten Son to be Redeemer of the world, and you will to be appeased by his blood. Grant, we beseech you, that we may so venerate the price of our redemption, and by its power be defended from the evils of this present earthly life, that we may enjoy its fruit forever in heaven. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The twelfth station, here Jesus dies on the cross.
It was now about the sixth hour, and darkness came over the whole land until the ninth hour, for the sun stopped shining, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last. Let us pray. We who feed on the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom the banner of the Holy Cross was sanctified, we beseech you, O Lord our God, that since we are able to venerate that same holy sign, it may be ours to enjoy forever the effects of its saving glory. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The 13th station, here Jesus is taken down from the cross. Later, Joseph Arimathea asked Pilate for the body of Jesus. Pilate agreed. O Lord Jesus Christ, we offer you our prayers and sacrificial gifts. May we who commemorate the piercing of the soul of Blessed Mary, your mother, share the reward of the saints through her loving and constant intercession and the prayers of those who stood with her beside the cross. May they be filled with your grace and blessing. This we ask through Christ our Lord. The 14th station, here Jesus is laid in the tomb. Taking Jesus' body, the two of them wrapped it with the spices in strips of linen. This was in accordance with Jewish burial customs. At the place where Jesus was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb in which no one had ever been laid. Because it was the Jewish day of preparation, and since the tomb was nearby, they placed the body of Jesus there. Let us pray. Send down your abundant blessing, Lord, upon your people who have devotedly recalled the death of your Son in the sure hope of the resurrection. Grant them pardon, bring them comfort, and may their faith grow stronger and their eternal salvation be assured. Through Christ our Lord, amen. I hope that this prayer journey along the Via Dolorosa will remind us of the sufferings that our Lord endured for our sins and for our transgressions. As he suffered for us by carrying his cross, let us learn to offer up our own suffering and pain so as to unite them with his. As he told us so many times, he who wishes to be a follower of mine must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. We pray that during this lengthened season that our Lord will touch your hearts your minds and your souls to die to sin and be alive in Christ Jesus. Lastly, we ask your prayers and assistance for the suffering Christians in the Holy Land. May God bless and keep you.